legend. Wait for it, Daryl. Hey everyone, it's me, Legend. Wait for it, Daryl. All good things must come to an end. And if you haven't seen parts one and two of the Jetman manga series, links in the description below. When I had started this Jetman manga series, it was because I had finally finished Jetman. It was such a fantastic and well-written series. The action, the characters, everything about it felt special and unique. That couldn't be replicated or done in any other season. And it wouldn't be. But I needed to discover what would happen next. We all know that guy does return in the Jetman tribute episode. But the manga had came before that. And I have done my best to do voiceover, music, everything I can to make the manga as lively as I can when presenting it to you guys. Because again, it's very hard to find. And I think everyone should have the opportunity to come see this for themselves. In any shape, form, or fashion. But, before I carry on with anything more regarding this final epic installment in the Jetman manga series, let's do this right one last time. Cross Changer! I'm really gonna miss doing stuff like this for the Jetman manga series. So, as I've said before, Jetman was special to me. Once I finished it, I couldn't just stop at getting the full suit. I had to get everything for this series, okay? Like, I didn't just get my hands on the manga. I managed to get my hands on the blaster. Like, I got my hands on the really rare bird knuckle, okay? This is almost impossible to find anywhere. Actually, it was possible to find. Jetman was that important to me. And this is the best way I can properly express that by letting you guys have the opportunity to experience it for yourself. This episode isn't really as dark and brutal as the last one is. There's still violence and blood and a little bit of swearing, but nothing that a uh, strict parental advisory is for. So all the kids and fans alike can enjoy it. But just remember, Sentai is for adults. So without any further ado, without holding back any longer, let's enjoy the very final installment of the Jetman manga series. Chapter 4. It's not over yet. We have to go even if she cuts off our legs. I know it's not fair towards you, but we have to give it our all. <laughs> Take this! How do you like to power it up the brutal burst? What? Is Aya synchronized with that robot Mina? How do you like this, Red Hawk? Can you still attack Mina now? It's Rumor who's taking the damage! Rumor can't control Mina any longer. I'll be the one controlling it for her! How can I save you? Watch out, Mr. Tendo! I can't believe he's able to do such a thing! I can't think of a way to attack it! There must be a way! There must be! We must retrieve Aya's body from Mia! I don't know if it will work as well as it did with Ronica, though. I guess it's our only chance. First, we have to stop that thing! Mr. Tendo, we have to restrain her together! Oh, all right. Damn. We've got her. Aya! I'm going too! 
Please take care of the rest, Akko. Just leave it to me. I hope the Jack Icarus and Garuda can manage. If we don't hurry, I will. We won't let go. Until we and Jeff are back. Aya, I'm here to save you. Ah! I get out of the way. No! Ah! Stop it, Jeff! I will die! She won't die from this! I got her out! See? She's fine! She's breathing! Darn. I didn't expect this. Forgive me, Aya, uh, Mr. Tendo. Oh! you, father and daughter together. I guess I miscalculated a bit. Although, I am enjoying the scenery. Huh? Oh yeah! Hang in there! Who is it? Who's calling me? I remember. You're the one who was calling me in my dreams. So it was you. You must be my real... Dad... <laughs> How does it feel, Red Hulk? I, for one, am very excited. What are you? I'll make you pay! Chapter 5 Settling Things. It's dark. It's dark and cold and silent. I guess I died. <coughs> A baby? Is that you, Aya? Huh? I'm giving you Mina's power. A new life will be born if you merge it with the Bradonic Waves. So please, save my daddy! Aya! I promise! I'll save your father! I'm sure she wanted to come back too, but... Go down! So you didn't die? I won't die until I kill this bastard! But I'll finish you off now!
I told you I won't die yet! Not until I fulfilled! <laughs> My promise to Aya! Now, Mr. Tendo, but don't hesitate because of me! <laughs> you bastard! Aya gave me new life, just so I can kill you. Do it, Mr. Tendo! You must avenge Aya! Can you really sacrifice your friend in order to kill me, Red Hawk? Can you kill me? It's not a sacrifice! This is my and Aya's wish! Shoot! Do it for us! For Jeff, forgive me! I'm taking your life! Forgive me. Huh? I'm not dead. Jeff! What happened to your body? What? Wow! This is weird! What about Radigue? What happened to him? Shouldn't he be worrying about himself? It's over. It is. Finally over. Mina. It stopped. Were you? Jeff! Were you able to save Aya? Chapter 6, The Last Moments. Mr. Tendo? Let's head back to our machines. I feel something's beating within my body. Maybe this is what being pregnant feels like? About Radicue, he died, right? I don't think he would have been able to survive that. But we'll destroy this robot just in case. Uh, this body won't last much longer. I have no use for it anymore. I'll just have to find a new vessel. That man, Jeff, he inherited the power of the Virum. He is the perfect vessel for me. I might have been defeated this time. Just watch Red Hawk. Soon, I'll make you suffer a new type of fear. What? Dronza! My dear Radicue, are you thinking of continuing all that alone? You won't have to have your way. You're going to die with me. Let me go, Tronza! I haven't- Ryu! I- uh... Let's finish this! I haven't killed Red Hawk yet! Come on! Great scramble! Let's destroy this enemy robot! Stop! Let me go! Stop! Bird Mazer! Over. With this, everything is over. But... Aya... Ah! Ah! What's wrong? Jeff? It's hot! It feels like my chest is burning! What? I uh... Aya! She turned back to normal! Has the Virum's power disappeared after Radicu died? This rumbling feeling inside me... Is it... Jeff? Ew, it's Mina! Weird. What's going on? I'm not sure myself. 
Maybe a part of me that survived with me after we fused. Even if she is in me, she seems not to have any control over me or herself. Ah! Mr. Tendo! We may be able to bring Aya back to life! What? We can create a new life if we fuse this thing with Mina's Burdonic Waves! It allowed me to come back to life too! Mina's power is still within me, and we still have Barodium, so we have Burdonic Waves! If we give that energy to Aya, her cellular activity will return, and she'll live again! Alright, let's give it a shot. Commander, please prepare the procedure. The Great Icarus is returning to Earth. We'll start the operation once Ryu and the others have come back. Hurry the preparations! Final Chapter The Blue Sky Preparations complete. We're on standby. The Great Icarus has returned! I told you before this was going to be difficult. The chances of this operation being successful are slim. I don't expect the same cellular effect that happened to Jeff will occur after Aya receives the Burdonic Waves. We know. We mustn't lose hope. Even if there's a small chance. I'm sorry, Jeff I. Don't say anything, Mr. Tendo. I'm the one who asked for this. Idiot. Why is a heavy metal idiot like you so old-fashioned? You're the worst kind of idiot! And don't make such a proud smile! Akko! I want good things happening! Both of you must come back alive! I won't forgive you if you don't! You understand? Yeah, I promise I'll come back. His body temperature, blood pressure, and pulse are dropping fast! His brainwaves are in danger! Transfuse Jeff's energy to Aya! And radiate Jeff with Burdonic Waves too! Jeff Kinzansi's heart rate has stopped! No change in Aya! Tendo's condition! Should I continue the operation? Don't stop! Jeff, you idiot! You promised you'd come back alive! You promised me! Huh? Aya? You're such a fool. Why did you have to come back here? You should have just left me. Let's go home. Aya, everyone's waiting for us. That's impossible. We need a lot of power to do so, and we don't have enough energy. Neither you nor me can return. Don't give up! There must be a way to go back! You can't do anything if you just give up. I can't! An energy flow? Aya! Everyone is giving us their power. Mommy? Daddy? We should be able to go back now. Come, let's go back together. But, come! He's right. You must go back, Aya. Come back to your mom and dad. Live, become happy. Live your life to the fullest in our place. We love you. We will always watch you from over here. Enough of those tears. Go back. People are waiting for you. Please, take that girl with you. Yeah, uh, who are you? We're friends. Come on, open your eyes. You big idiot! See, it hurts! You're alive! You're alive, Jeff! Where's Aya? Let's go see the blue sky we all protected together. And uh, now? And now? Let's all keep protecting that peaceful blue sky together. And let's do so forever. The end. And that
that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes the Jetman manga. And now for some thoughts and opinions if you care about those. They left no stone unturned. Almost everything from the original Jetman series was called back to. From the Neo Jetman, to the Zords, to everything. They honestly had did their best with the series and it shows. Epilogue that takes place five years into the future, it's nice to see where the Jetman finally go. Having said that, um, while I am glad that Tronza and Radigu did get their time to shine, I feel really bad for Grey because Grey was probably the dark horse cool villain that we could all appreciate. Um, also, what happened with Ryda? Like, in the very first episode, we discover he's finally married and he's having a kid of his own, but Ryda doesn't do anything in this series, okay? Like, Akko, Akko had a love interest. Akko finally got her own love interest as soon as she hit 18. Bam! Her and Jeff, both in the music, that's happening. Akko got to do something. Jeff got to do something. Rue and Kairi were integral to the story clearly because it was their daughter Aya that had gotten kidnapped. It was nice to see how they were as a couple, although I would have loved to see a little bit more Kairi and her doing stuff, but you can take what you can get. Um, context! Because uh, they didn't really explain this that well in the manga, I felt, so I'm going to explain it here. The two individuals who had helped talk Aya into returning to Earth and living happily with her parents were none other than Guy and Maria, a.k.a. Ray. If you don't know who Maria slash Ray was, she was one of the four central antagonists along with Radigu, Grey, and Tronza. Uh, she unfortunately did not survive the series, as we all know, because she's in heaven with Guy. Spoilers on Guy, by the way! He did. Yeah, Guy, this confirms, because when Jetman had ended, they kind of left it to interpretation whether or not he survived his injuries at the wedding because Guy was just so tough. This manga kind of nails that in there. Uh, while we do know he does come back as a ghost because he outplayed God in a game of poker to come back to Earth to team up with the Gokaiders and help them find their way. Um, yeah, Guy dead. But that was also him in the picture in heaven. We don't see any more of Jeff after this, and I kind of want to go into a little bit more of this, because while it is heavily implied that the manga is non-canon, nothing in Gokaiger or any future Sentai series disputes that. Because um, there were rangers in the Great War that we see in Gokaiger that were not all shown there, as we did see in the Gokaiger vs. Gokaiger movie. Um, nothing is shown that makes me go, oh, okay, there's no way Jeff could have happened. So, headcanon-wise, to me, so headcanon for me, this book is canon in my mind until something clearly disputes or shows otherwise that Jeff could not have happened. Nothing has had, nothing has had that kind of impact that I have seen. Um, if you want to correct me in the comments and be like, oh yeah, well you see there was a secret, hidden, amazing special that happened that clearly states that then you gotta post a link um, and the you gotta post a link or a source to tell me how much I'm wrong I love being proven that I'm wrong so in closing I really enjoyed this manga I thought it was the great dessert on a fantastic meal that was the Jetman television series the Jetman manga series gives us great closure on a lot of these things and then Go Kyger is the cherry on top of that this series is well drawn could it have been written a little bit better so it wouldn't have been confusing in some parts? Yes. But I managed to understand and get all of it too, and there are better fans out there than I am who will probably have no problem understanding it at all. So that's it for the Jetman manga series. Um, I'm not going to do, or currently do not have any plans to do any other Super Sentai manga, Kamen Rider manga, anything like that. I kind of want to go somewhere else in a different direction. Um, this was a very fun and ambitious project I got to do. Huge thanks to everyone who helped me out and was involved. So guys, please take care of yourselves. I hope you enjoyed the video and everything before it. I hope you stick around for all my other content. I don't just do Super Sentai, Power Rangers, and Toku stuff here. I do much other things. Um, take care. Done? No! End credit stinger! I'd love to give a huge shout out to thanks to 
everybody who had even kind of an involvement in this. Keith Howard Justice of Henshin Justice was the person who found this manga and had it English translated. I took that and brought it in a video format. So thank you, Keith. I want to thank Taiga Art for doing all the cover artwork for um, the thumbnails that I used to help bring this series to life. Taiga, you were fantastic and I could not have done this without you. And also, if you're looking for the most comfortable spandex in history, RAV SEAMS! While it is not cheap, it is totally worth it. These are practically screen accurate, meaning if I showed up on the show, you would not be able to tell the difference. This helmet, this extremely affordable helmet, came from none other than Kamen Rider Nimoy, aka Kamen Rider Custom Mask. He does some of the best helmets ever. Some are even already made to ship. So please check him out. Links to all these are in the descriptions, you guys, all right? So if you ever have any questions or stuff like that, just read the description. Okay, I got links right there, so that way no one is lost and no one cries foul. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, also, the music that I used in this was from the Jetman Nintendo video game, which helped me give this manga series that episodic feel to let you really live and enjoy in it. And I really hope you guys appreciate it. So that's literally all the information and everything I have to give you guys. This was a blast to do, and I hope you have a great day, all right? Fly high, stay classy, have a super mega day. I'll see you later.